May 9th, 10th, and 11th, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So the sun is in Taurus. Taurus is the quality of absolute acceptance. They live with insecurity. They feel scared because they're so calm. They get a little worried. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's okay to be calm and quiet and gentle and not be pressured to be something more. And the moon for these next three days is in Cancer. So you put Taurus with Cancer. You have water and you have earth. Cancer's the water, the moon, the sun's in Taurus, earth. And this combination is delicious. If you meet a Taurus Cancer personality, what you notice is they're so caretaking and they're so gentle. They're the easiest people to be around. And because right now there's so much Earth in the heavens, there's three planets in Taurus, there's one planet in Virgo and one planet in Capricorn, that big grand trine we talked about, all 120 degrees apart, there's this yummy solid energy all the month of May. There's no air. That's why I'm here, because I can fill in the blanks. But the point of these next three days is just look around at your house and see, you know, someone taught me this. If you move things around and you dust and you do a little bit of rearrangement, it's kind of like spring cleaning, but it's so important not to leave things stagnant. And that's the downside of Tauruses. They get really comfortable and familiar and they let things get almost kind of routine to the point of forgetting how delicious it is. So just look around your house these next three days. The sun's in Taurus and moon's and cancer, you're going to want to stay home. It's not a big day to run around and see, is there anything you could throw away? Big deal for Taurus Cancer. Is there any family member that might need some help that you can just call and say, you know, I watched Deborah's video and I felt such a desire to reach out. Or is there anything you want to cook that's delicious, that's really healthy? Mm -mm, Taurus Cancer, perfect time. All this month of May, just notice how calm. I love this energy makes me feel like life is all well. And even when life is really awkward and not the happiest for some of us, if we come back to basics, like our family, our friends, our hearts, and just being ourselves, it gets all better just because there's truly love and kindness. That's really all we're here for. And that is so Taurus Cancer. The nurses, the mom energy, the best sister you could ever have, the best grandma. Mm, I love these people. Astrology answers want to make you feel better. That's what I did today. I made you feel like you're getting a big hug from your grandma. I am here to tell you that I'm about to do book signings. I'm going to give you three different cities that I'm going to, so grab your pen. So the first one that I land in is I'm going to New York City on May 12th, and I'm going to be there doing a public presentation it's $25 at the door, and I'm going to have all of you fill out your personality test so I can work with your charts right then in front of me, and I'm going to do book signings. So the name of the bookstore is Namaste, and the address is 2 West 14th, and it's at 6 to 8 on May 12th in New York City. So if you're anywhere in New York City on May 12th and you want to come meet Deborah Silverman in person, I will be there in the evening. Second city that I'm going to right after is going to be Seattle, where I'm going to be at the East West Bookstore on May 14th. And that's from 7 to 8.30 p.m. And again, it's $25. You're going to come in with a personality test, and we're going to have a little exchange. You're going to get to learn about your personality test. And again, I'm going to sign books and sell books called The Missing Element, brought to you by Deborah Silverman. And the last city that I'm going to at this point is Vancouver, where I spent many years. I'm going to be at the Indigo Bookstore at 5, nope. I'm going to be at the Indigo Bookstore at 810 Granville Street, that's the address, between 11 and 2 on May 18th. So first comes New York City, May 12th, then comes Seattle, May 14th, and then comes Vancouver, May 18th. And if you're interested, you can write to Silverman Support at Gmail, and we'll give you information about all of this in detail. However, all you got to do is just make an appearance. I'm going to sign a book for you, and we're going to meet each other. How exciting is that, that I get to play my game called I Wrote a Book, and you get to play, really? I'm so interested.